Hello, uh, this is Mitsaka with another short tip. Um, I want to talk about uh, layouts today. Uh, so if you work in Blender, you know, you have the huge 3D view and you have your settings on the left and the right hand side and everything is super great. But um, if you're like me and you're only working on still images, for example, you won't really need the timeline or maybe you want to um, have the outline a bit bigger or something else. Um, you can easily change that. If you just uh, drag between the windows, you can easily adjust the size of two of them. Um, and then you also have in the bottom right corner and in the bottom left corner of each window, you have these um, three stripes. And you can uh, hit left click on them and drag them. You either drag them into the image, which splits the image into two. Like you can do it like this, or you drag them outside of the image and then an arrow sh will show up into uh, inside of the um, adjacent uh, window. And you can see that it will join into this one. And if we release the left mouse button, it joins into that. So for example, I uh, don't really need this and maybe I want a note editor on the right hand side. You can just drag it out and have a note editor. That is really neat. Um, but we also have a way more powerful tool on our hands. And this is the layouts up here. You can see Blender has a bunch of default layouts. We have the default one, we have game logic, motion tracking, scripting, and so on. The compositing one is really nice. I use that a lot. It has like an image editor over here, the huge node editor and a small 3D view. Um, and you can also change these. And if you change them, they will show up if you load them again. But Blender is all about shortcuts. So if you move your mouse up here, then uh, yeah, that was the wrong button. So let's select this one. Uh, where's the default one here? That takes seconds uh, to do, seconds that you can just save. You can save them by hitting Control and the left arrow key or the right arrow key, which just um, goes through this list and shows one after an, uh, another of these. So what I do very, very often is I am in default mode and I edit my stuff and then I switch to cycles render and then I want to um, edit the material. What I do is I hit control left arrow key. Then I go to the material view mode over here and then, you know, I change, maybe I will add a, a texture, check a texture. And then I have some sort of texture on this, I believe. I don't know. Yeah. And if I did that, I hit control right arrow key and I'm right back into my default window and I can keep modeling. Super easy, super nice. Um, yeah, I hope that helps you a little bit. Um, oh, short thing. What you can also do is you can go to window, duplicate window, and you can actually get a second window of Blender opened. So you can also like change the layout over here. Let's say we're in compositing here. If you have two screens, you can actually like have a default one on one window and the uh, compositing on a second and it will interact, perf interact perfectly uh, with each other. So that's a new feature. Um, I hope you learned something and uh, I see you next time. Bye.